If you or someone you know is one of the millions of people taking atovastatin to lower high cholesterol, then you have come to the right place. We are going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions about atovastatin. What should I avoid while taking atovastatin? It is an important question and I'm here to shed some light on it so you can make an informed decision. Now, what is the secret behind how atovastatin works to lower your cholesterol? Well, in simple terms, atovastatin stops a specific enzyme in the liver from making too much cholesterol. However, like any other medication, atovastatin comes with tons of potential side effects. From muscle pain, headaches, and digestive issues to an increased risk of diabetes, liver damage, and rhabdomyolysis, which is a fancy word for muscle breakdown. That's why it's important to be mindful of the things we are about to discuss, as they can potentially worsen these side effects. The Dosadi family here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, the first on the list is niacin, also known as vitamin B3. So picture this. Atovastatin is a medication that helps lower cholesterol levels, and niacin can also be used for the same purpose. But here's the catch. When you take them together, things can get a little tricky. And many people do not realize that combining niacin with atovastatin can increase the risk of muscle pain and the breakdown of muscle tissues. And trust me, that is something you want to avoid. This risk tends to increase, especially when you are taking high doses of niacin, usually more than 1,000 mg per day, along with atovastatin. And here is another thing to keep in mind. Some multivitamins may contain other forms of niacin, such as nicotinic acid or nicotinamide. Even though the amount of niacin present in multivitamins is usually low, it is still important to speak with a doctor or pharmacist before taking any supplements or multivitamins if you are taking at overstatin. Number two, grapefruit. So you may be wondering, what is the deal with grapefruit and at overstatin? You see, grapefruit or grapefruit juice contain certain compounds that can interfere with the enzymes responsible for breaking down atovastatin in your liver. This simply means that grapefruit or grapefruit juice can mess with the way your body processes atovastatin, leading to higher levels of atovastatin in your bloodstream than intended. And that sounds like asking for trouble. When atovastatin levels become too high, it can increase the risk of side effects. We are talking about muscle pain, weakness, and even potential damage to your liver. So to play it safe, it is best to avoid consuming grapefruit or grapefruit juice while taking a tovastatin. Number three, phenofibrate and gemfibrozil. Just like a tovastatin, phenofibrate and gemfibrozil, also known as Fibrit medications are also used to control cholesterol levels in your body. But here is the thing, both phenofibrate and gemfibrozil have a potential risk of causing muscle pain and muscle-related side effects similar to atovastatin. And guess what? When you mix atovastatin with either phenofibrate or gemfibrozil, it can increase the levels of atovastatin in your body. Now, you may think that a little boost of atovastatin could be helpful. Well, unfortunately, it can actually raise the risk of developing serious muscle-related problems. And out of the two fibrates, gemfibrozil has a higher chance of interacting with atovastatin compared to other fibrates. That's why it is highly recommended to avoid taking gemfibrozil and atovastatin together. Number four, colchicine. Now, you may already know that colchicine is a medication used to treat and prevent gout, 
which is a condition that causes painful inflammation in your joints. The good thing about colchicine is that it helps calm down those painful flare-ups and it brings relief to those who suffer from gout. But here is something you should know. When atovastatin and colchicine are taken together, it can increase the levels of colchicine in your body. You see, this may sound like a good thing, but it can actually be risky. The reason is that higher levels of colchicine can lead to serious side effects such as muscle damage, muscle pain, and muscle weakness, especially if you are older or have kidney problems. These side effects can be harmful, and that is why you should definitely want to avoid taking these two medications together. Number 5. St. John's Wort Let me explain. St. John's Wort is a popular natural supplement that some people use to help with the mood and emotional well-being. But here's the deal. When you mix a Tovastatin and St. John's Wort, it can cause some problems. So how is this possible? Well, St. John's Wort has a special power. It can speed up the breakdown of certain medications in your body, including atovastatin. This means that if you're taking them together, atovastatin may not work as well as it should to lower your cholesterol levels. And that is not what you want to see, especially when the main reason for taking atovastatin is to keep your cholesterol levels under control. Now, I totally get it. It may be tempting to try different remedies and natural supplements, but you also need to prioritize your health and safety. And let us not forget this important point. The interactions we discussed in this video are not all the interactions that can happen when you take your tovastatin. In addition to the ones already mentioned, it is worth noting that there are some other medications that you should avoid taking with atovastatin. And here are a few names that you should also keep in mind. Clarithromycin and antifungal medications like itraconazole or ketoconazole. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is power. And you have the power to make informed choices for your health. Keep shining bright and keep being amazing. Thanks for watching.